the MLG Winter Championships are coming up. Dallas, Texas, March 15th. The best gamers in the world will be there competing for a bunch of money. Of course, the StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm edition of that tournament. Of course, there's going to be League of Legends there. There's going to be Call of Duty and StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm, 32 man, uh, 32 man bracket and of course $75,000 up for grabs. Again, all the players you're seeing win here at the Winter Season Showdowns will be at that event. That being said, you need to be there. If there's an eSports event you attend, make it be this one. If you're saving up money, you're thinking about going to an eSports event and you're like, all right, which one should I go to? The MLG Winter Championships, you definitely wanna be there. Right now, you can purchase your pass online, $35 online, $50 at the door. So make sure you take advantage of that. But that being said, let's find out who's gonna who's gonna be our first our, our first North American to qualify. Of course, we're currently watching a best of five between Caliber and Ghost User. They're tied one to one. Mr. Axlav, shall we advance on into game number three? Let's so let's see game number three. I mean, that game number two was an absolute was awesome. slugfest. There, <laughs> I mean, uh, that was awesome. From from the initial two base push, Ghost gave the third. The muted counter, the Phoenix beating that. Another push, and then the, the Swarm Host Spine Core Siege. Caliber looked like he was dead, but then he he switched over another side of the map. The patience from Caliber yeah, there, like, was really beautiful. Are you kidding me? Like, I've been in games where I'm playing against Swarm Hosts, and I'm like, all right, just a move, bring all my SCVs because <laughs> I play Terran now. Or um, but no, it, like he, he didn't engage. He's like, okay, I got I gotta wait until he makes a mistake, and then right when that mistake happened, he struck. Uh, very cool to watch. But here we are in game number three in the top right hand location. We have the Red Zerg player from Team Millennium. He is Ghost User, has a ridiculous winning record in Heart of the Swarm matches. His opponent in the top, in the bottom right hand location, showing he is not to be ignored from Team Light. He is Caliber. And I would like to remind everyone watching, if you're enjoying the content, if you want to tell your friends, go ahead and do it. Get on Team Liquid, get on Reddit, tell people to get in here, get in here, tell people this is going on. You know, the, the Twitch chat as well. Have a conversation there. Of course, uh, it's always fun to talk about these games with the with the community, with the other people that are currently watching it live. And of course, if you're watching this on VOD, be sure to try to tune into a live event as well because they are quite fun. Again, 5 p.m. Eastern, pretty much every single day. Uh, these are going on, leading up to the championship event. So now we're on Whirlwind. Yes. Game number three, Whirlwind. This is a really big open map. It's great for Mulus, but it's also really great for Protoss Airplay. In fact, uh, we saw, I think it was the Nesty Creator game here, where Nesty was just like, I'm going Mulus because it's Whirlwind. No matter what. And Creator's like, I'm going Triple Stargate Phoenix. And Nesty's like, you know what? Mutas don't work that well in the Triple yeah. Stargate Phoenix. So uh, it, it's interesting. It's hard to tell who it really favors, of course. Protoss goes too far into Phoenix production. Uh, a hard road switch can be very effective because it's a very open map as well. There's a lot of open areas. Uh, if you're talking about trying to defend your third, there's that there's that very open area between your third and your natural. That if the Zerg controls that, they can then attack whichever base it has less defense at it. So uh, it's kind of like Antigua Shipyard in that way, where it's uh, roaches can be pretty effective because it openness, but also it's so big it takes you a little while to cross the map. Uh, there's a lot of different possibilities here. Now uh, Caliber opening up one base here, and he's Chronobus in the heck out of his Cybernetic core. He has a lot of Chrono Boost saved up as well, opening up one base, one gas. Meanwhile, Ghost User hasn't scouted this just yet. He still doesn't have any gas of his own. Looks like he's even going to take a third base relatively soon. Yep, there goes the drone. What even are we going to see from Caliber here? I'm... This, it looks like a four gate. Yeah, it does. Uh, I mean, it's got to be. The amount of Chrono Boost, yeah, there, there's all the gateways. Um, a very standard classic four gate. This is something MC has done this map against Zerg's in the past uh, because this it, it's so big. Not only it, it, the scouting difference, right? It, it's it, the Zerg player is going to have a much hard time scouting. If it, yeah, I mean, if if Ghost User, he can know what's going on, even if he just sees the Stalker Zealot, like kind of. I mean, he, no, he, he likes exactly what's going on. Yeah, like, he, he'll, 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 he'll know some possibility, of something going on. He's got to be ready for I mean, for he, pretty he, much anything. There's, if you see a Zealot Stalker, you at least take a gas. I mean, I, at this part, I don't even know if he would want to. Because uh, he wouldn't be able to get speed up in time. Oh, I think sure. he, I think he might just have to defend on mass spine core defense. Of course, giving up that third. There's two proxy pylons already on the way. The probe is coming in to get an even closer one. Warp gate is finishing. The units are moving out. Two stalkers and a zealot. Ghost user has still scouted nothing. He, he has no idea. He's he's getting a gas now. His overlord is about to hit the base as soon as it sees the uh, warp gate turning in. 
Oh, but it's only to see the one. That might not even give it away. I mean, the timing of it, though, it, it might. Like... Yeah, the timing should. It should. It, this early on, he's got to know exactly what's going on. Um, He's got to build a lot of spawns at that third base. Yeah. Uh, I almost maybe she yeah, no, cancel the hatchery. The yeah. Maybe she let it finish and hope that Caliber attacks it. Oh. Because uh, that could buy time for spines to finish if, if Caliber gets distracted. But Caliber, a very smart player, knows do not get distracted from the hatchery. Goes straight for the kill. Wow. Drones are gonna have to be pulled here, but he's there's so many Protoss units. So many units here, and and he's not done warping them. in, of course, every uh, every so often uh, when those warp gates complete their cooldown, four more Protoss units are gonna enter the field. So many stalkers, so many zealots here. Ghost user trying desperately to buy time for his spine cars, canceling that one just before it finishes. The drones gonna be retreating back as well. The queen getting targeted down. Ghost user down to 35 supply, trying to make as many lings in spine cars as possible. But again, more and more Protoss units coming forward here. Can Ghost user hold this? There just may be too much Protoss. The spines are just coming up, but they're dying as fast as they can come up. There's no queens. There's a few more Zergans on the way, but all the drones are down at this point, even if he holds it. It may be too late, but I don't even think he's going to do that. Oh Protoss reinforcements are warping in by the second. Oh no, Ghost User throwing down the GG Caliber, saying, you know what, that last game, it's a little bit too long for me. <laughs> uh, Whirlwind, a very Change big map. I'm going to hope he doesn't scout me soon. And again, Ghost User didn't scout it until he saw the warp gates completing. He was like too taking late. three hatcheries, getting a gas. He just couldn't get up what it was required, but of course, Caliber doing a great job just executing that build. Like, a lot of Protoss players will make the mistake of trying to take out the third, but that gives your your, your Zerg opponent time to, to hold on two bases. Yeah. And, you know, Caliber again going straight for that natural expansion, making sure he had those proxy pylons in place so we can keep the units going, um, you know, one after another after another, and Ghost User had no answer. Yeah, beautifully executed strategy here by Caliber, and the time it was just right. The scouting pattern goes to you did, didn't quite work out in that game. Caliber up 2-1, and man, we said he was the underdog. Yeah. And now it's he Ghost User could be eliminated. Ghost User's, he's like level 9 in Hardest Swarm. He's, he's been, been playing a ridiculous He's been playing, he's been playing in show matches. He's beaten some of the top Korean players in Hardest Swarm. And now Caliber is about, is on the verge of knocking him out. It's going to be tough. Of course, that was essentially a build order win from Caliber. He went into that map, he... He knew, uh, you know, he knew which strategy he was going to use on that map, and Ghost User quite simply scouted him last, completely unprepared. Those games will happen. Can Ghost User recover? Can we? Can he win two games in a row to get that spot in Dallas, or can Caliber convert to victory? We're going to find out in game number four. That's coming up. Don't go anywhere.